I'm in China, and I'm in processed food hell. A positive mental attitude can clear away all obstacles which stand between you and your major purpose in life. Let's do it. Let's go, time. Positive mental attitude. In today's video, I'm in a Chinese supermarket. That's right, and you're as surprised as I am. Shopping here is a very bizarre, interesting aspect of what Chinese culture has evolved to, but not everybody likes the camera. Whenever I'm in a different country, I like to go to markets, supermarkets, just to get an essence of their culture, what they eat, how very different they are. There seem to be a lot of, I guess you could say, lower level meat, lots of tripe, lots of minced organs, flavoured rolled into balls, repackaged, that kind of thing. So there was a lot of things I was looking at that I had no idea what they were, but I just knew I had little interest in eating any of it. <laughs> and in China, children go to school for 10 hours a day, which I think is fantastic. I think the more you do something, the more you want to do something. So it really gets them in a good way of thinking at an early age. So I've noticed in the supermarket, pretty much things at the bottom row will mirror all the way up. Whereas in England, if you've got something on the shelf, then you've got different items to select. Down here, the very item that's on the bottom, you might come into the shelf, there's a lot of items here, but there was on the bottom shelf. Do the same all the way up. Which is not really old, which is different to the country, different country and all the rest of it. But it's nice to know. <laughs> Wasting time thinking uh, yeah, there. <laughs> to say guys, upon looking at these poor creatures inside these plastic boxes, I don't know if they're aware of what's about to happen to them, what's in store for them, but for me it was just incredibly sad. I mean I've eaten in restaurants and eaten things that I now regret. But to see these and just to know that they're there solely for consumption. Was just so sad. Especially when certain fish that were a certain size are all compacted into a space where they can't move. So there's a complete lack of respect for their life. As you can see, this big fish here in the top the size of its body is the entirety of the space that it's in. So it just gets to exist. It doesn't get to move, definitely doesn't get to swim. I, I just felt bad energy by being around these. Yep, sad to see, sad.
So I just had a guy repeatedly say to me, Hancor, Hancor! I think he was saying like, Hancor, Hancor, Hancor. He's like, oh. So I think he doesn't like the dry bit of gourd tea. That's what I think. I need to ask Ron what Hancor means. Hancor, Hancor. You should see. Kind of funny, isn't it? If you're ever in a queue with Chinese people, if you're the first person in the queue, generally the people behind you will push against you when there's nowhere to go. It's quite bizarre. I've even been stood at an ATM machine and the guy's looked over my shoulder, started typing his number in when my card was in the machine. Go figure, right? The common sense is very lacking in that aspect, but still, <laughs> it makes for giggles. One thing that's very apparent in China is the population, being that it's just under one and a half billion. And India is just under that figure. But being a smaller country, it's very densely populated. If you're interested in seeing any of my India videos, please click here. Now, guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps me out so much. Have an awesome day. Guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so as it helps me out so much. Have an awesome day.